Hi, I'm down here in the bunker and uh, I have all this gorgeous clean bench space here. Look, look at this, fantastic. I'll link in a, an exclusive video over on my Odyssey uh, channel showing me actually cleaning up this place, place and yes, I can actually see floor now. So anyway, I'll link that in. It's an exclusive video over on uh, my Odyssey channel where I have exclusive videos. Anyway, um, on the recent Amp Hour and also on the EV Blog Forum where all the action is, I've been talking about possibly getting a pick and place machine because I've got all this bench space now and I thought, oh, look, maybe I'll get, <laughs> maybe I'll be a glutton for punishment and I'll get one of those desktop pick and place machines. And it, as it so happens, uh, Neoden, which is a Chinese art maker, they've just released a new YY1 model or something it is. And I, I thought, you know, it's, it's price point seems reasonable. So I thought about getting it. Anyway, I was discussing on the EV blog forum with all the nerds over there and uh, who are in the know about pick and place machines and especially uh, Sion from uh, Unexpected Maker who's got a great channel by the way I'll link in his channel down below check it out um, he has extensive experience with pick and place uh, machines. He had all the drama with the Charm High brand, but he's been actually having huge issues with the Neoden ones in that they have zero support and all that sort of stuff. So I don't want to shell out like five grand to get like no support. Let me just jump on camera here while I'm ranting about this. Uh, I thought maybe that I'll be a glutton for punishment, get a desktop pick and place machine, and then I can possibly do some videos on like, you know, how good uh, is like a sub, say $5,000 desktop pick and place machine these days? Is it, you know, are they practical? Are they any good? How many issues are you going to have with it for actually producing like short run boards? Maybe I could actually produce some projects that I could actually assemble here because I've got all this bench space. I could have a pick and place machine, a stencil uh, printer and, uh, you know, a, ref a decent reflow oven and I could assemble like small batch boards and stuff. And I thought that might make an interesting series of videos. But it seems <laughs> after talking with all the uh, pick and place nerds out there, there's not many options really, <laughs> probably no option under like maybe even $10,000. Uh, I'm talking, you know, even US dollars where you can just get something that just sort of, you put it down, you program it and it just works without really issues. And that people will constantly have issues with the feeders and all that sort of thing. The new Neodem one uses uh, drag feeders and they have problem with plastic tapes apparently. And it's like, oh, like so many issues. And here in Australia, it's eh, secondhand ones are you know, pretty hard to come by. They rarely come up. Um, so I thought, I actually got a pick and place machine here, which I never assembled. It's the uh, Light Placer, and here it is. I, I got the box out. So thank you very much, Light Placer. They did send it in at the time into the mailbag. I did a video on it, and um, yeah, thank you. I got the original note. Thank you, uh, Juha, who's on, or Juku on the, um, the EV blog uh, forum, who I assume is still selling the Light Placer uh, kit, I think, and. Yeah, apparently I've got a full pick and place light placer kit. Now I was gonna do videos on like, you know, I just wanted something that just sort of like worked out of the box and then I could do video series on actually how good they are to actually produce boards where, you know, but anyway, considering that I can't really get one, I thought I'd have a quick squeeze of uh, what, Whoa, is that what it's gonna look like? Maybe, let me know in the comments down below if you think I should do a video actually finally assembling this thing and uh, and you know try and get it up and running. I know I'd end up spending like a dozen videos just trying to get the thing set, you know, built and set up and up and running and doing stuff like that. Um, rather than actually just getting something off the shelf and just assembling things, optional extras. There you go. We've even got the optional extras. So let's actually have a look in here. Anyway, I'm curious to know what people think. Do you want to see videos of me assembling this? Or oh, you know, I could do like a time lapse. Are you interested in a, me doing like assembly and set up and trying to dick around trying to get this thing working or would you prefer that I do all that in the background and then, well, no, I wouldn't want to spend all that time actually and not make videos. So yeah, I'd probably just uh, make videos on the topic. But anyway, I got all the rails. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Got all the, all the bags of screws. I, it looks, it looks complete. Let me know if, uh, oh, is that the, is that, is that the nozzle? I think that's that's probably the top of the. No, yeah, that looks. They look suspiciously like the um, heads to me. Apparently, this is a dual head. 
One, I'm sure the design has been improved. Apparently it supports the open pick and place software now. Um, I even got a, um, oh, it's an endoscope. Oh, that's the, that's the camera, is it? That's the camera. They've got like a USB camera. Yep, I've got two um, five meg webcam cameras. So that's how they're doing the, uh, that's how they're doing all the camera stuff. They've got all the stepper motors. Oh, geez, look, there's a lot of parts in here. There's a, there's a lot of hours. And uh, please leave it in the comments if you know how many hours it's gonna take to assemble one of these. But it could be an interesting video. I would do it here down in the bunker. So, you know, lighting and uh, audio, although I am using my wireless Rode mic. There you go, we've got a couple of ring lights, uh, LED ring lights and stuff. We've got extrusions, corner pillars. I got, you know, just random, um, you know, rod joiner things like that, stuff like that. But it's very comprehensive kit, this light placer. And I have actually gone, I'm sure I've done it in the mailbag or something and I showed it off, uh, but I never got around to assembling it. Anyway, that's a lot of bearings. There's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of bearings in there. So um, this could be extrusion things, V wheels, small little stepper motor. Um, I don't know, little plasticky things. And there we go, look at that, beautiful, right? So it's, it's all in here, looks like I still have, you know, all the bits. I'm pretty sure I didn't lose anything. And this box over here has the giant rails in it, I believe. So they're all, yeah, we've got giant rods and giant railings and all that. So that came in that box. So it looks like I do actually have the whole shebang. So technically, I do have a pick and place machine. So let me know in the comments down below. I won't start assembling it now, but is this something that you would like to see me? <laughs> manual one, just in case it doesn't work. <laughs> We've got a manual um, placer. And uh, there, there, there's the tubing and stuff. Is there a pump? Like, you know, is there like a vacuum pump or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, there it is, vacuum pump. Geez, that's tiny, isn't it? Um, Anyway, yeah, let me know if you know, I can't, I'll have to find the date of that original when they sent it in. Oh, a couple of years old, because uh, David, um, when David was here, he was actually going to uh, assemble it, but just like we never found time to get around and do it. Anyway, lightplacer.com, uh, apparently it's still going, um, and it su now supports open pick and place software, and it's probably greatly improved from this kit, I would imagine, but I don't know, leave it in the comments down below. Tiny G controller board, there you go. So is this something that you'd like to see me spend my time on? Because obviously my time is, uh, you know, <laughs> I can only do one type of video at the time. There's the controller board. But yeah, I, ha I do actually have a complete pick and place machine. So obviously, if I just bought a commercial pick and place unit, it would do something out of the box, right? I could just do an unboxing video and then just a, you know, one or two videos of like, you know, at, at least, you know, learning how to program the thing and then it would just, at least it would, you know, attempt to pick and place parts. Uh, of course, you know, you've got all the issues with the feeders and, and the types of parts and, you know, all, all the other, all the little intricacies that go into actually operating a pick and place machine. So yeah, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be many videos before I actually uh, got into actually trying to produce boards. Whereas this one, if I have to assemble it, it'd be a lot of videos. It'd certainly be a great deal of fun to actually assemble this. But anyway, let me know, please, in the comments down below if you think this is a good use of the, uh, of my time to actually make videos. Would people watch videos on, you know, a do-it-yourself pick and place solution as a, and you know, using open PNP software and all the rest of it, as opposed to just, uh, you know, buying a commercial one for like five grand and uh, you know, seeing what I can do with the thing. Um, did, let us know, because this only cost me time, doesn't cost me any money, but uh, yeah, obviously if people aren't gonna watch the videos, I guess I suck it and see, right? I've got a lot, lot of bench space here and uh, I can assemble this, no problems whatsoever. I mean, it's all just mechanical assembly can set up a time-lapse camera, don't have to show you detail of that. Thoughts and comments down below. I thought I'd just dropped out of the bunker here and uh, show off the light placer kit. And I do believe it looks absolutely complete. And that's what I remember. This could be greatly improved by then, but I'm sure it would still um, do the business if I assembled it. Oh, at least it would do some sort of business. Anyway, please, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.